she pop pee pop pee pop pee pop Kep pa sa sa pa se what they do Welcome to Crime Time News where the difference is in the meds Now people, it seems as if a lot of these relevant authority When they are not corrupt, they are boneheaded Meaning that they make very irrational decision. They make decision based on the size of your pocket. Based on where you live. Based on your face card. Who you know or who you are. And one of those organizations, the FLA, not Florida, Firearm License Authority. They are the regulatory body who decides who gets or gets denied legal fire piece and ammunition, the license for that. Now, people, there are a group of popo, maybe about a hundred or so, who applied for a license fire piece, the license, sorry, and they were denied. And the reason, the most reason why they were denied is based on their address. Wrong address. Itana has a song that speaks about that. How you are treated differently if you live in Narbrook, Cherry Garden, Jaxil, versus if you, you live Arima, Jungle, Bakto, Kalalobed, places like those. Now, people, a poor poor officer or a few poor poor officers were denied about a hundred or so. However, in one particular case study, Documented, this man has been an officer for five years. He works on the front line. However, he is not from one of those uptown address. So therefore, the FLA said that because of where he lives, he poses a harm to himself and his community. However, people should not be the reverse. So people, I am going to let you hear what Mr. Bountain has to say. And then I am going to give my piece. One of the issues that I recall dealing with the police federation and correcting when I was minister was the issue of hundreds or thousands of police officers who had applied for private firearms and were denied on the basis that they didn't establish a need to be armed. But the truth is that there has continued to be a sort of elitism in evaluating persons who apply for firearms. Well, I'm going to cite a, a case for you, which I have the correspondence from the FLA. But let me just say it's a police officer, police officer who has served for, in his fifth year of service. And as most of the younger officers, they are the ones in the operational um, units. They are the ones on the front line. They are the ones who the minister is saying they must shoot to kill. And in fact, these have, they have served in the operational units of the toughest police division for most of their time in the JCF. They applied for a personal firearm. And they received a letter this month denying their application. And here is the reason for the said denial of application. And I quote, applicant area of residence is of concern and is likely to pose a greater risk to the applicant if a firearm is introduced. This is a police officer. Wrong address. This is a police officer with a wrong address. This is a police officer that we're asking to face down criminals on a daily basis. This is a police officer who then, if he doesn't get a keep and care firearm, has to return to his home in a tough community without a firearm because he's denied on the basis of his residence. This, quite frankly, Mr. President, is a disgrace. It is shameful. In the case of young Jamaicans, that we're asking out there to go down and face down the same violence producers and bad men day after day, 
and we are denying them. They have nothing adverse on their record. There is nothing adverse referred to here. And they are denied on the basis of their address. The very address which makes it more likely that they need to defend themselves than if they lived in Cherry Gardens or Jacksil in a gated community with a 24-hour security. It is unfair, it is elitist, and it is going to work to demoralize the members of the police force. Now, people, when you listen to stuff like that, it just shows you how irrational these people are not holding any sorts of meds. These people are illogical. They are backwards in their thinking. Because the truth and the fact is that after somebody goes through the stringent application process to become a popo, them have a toll upon the job. Then whenever they leave this job, they go home. If them live at Cherry Gardens or Narbrook, more than likely they'll be okay. Nobody is going to be pointing them out and say, are the police boy that you know. However, if them live a jungle or Rima, and then them leave them job, them nine to five, and I go home, and people know them, their life might be at risk. They could get hurt. They could get taken away because they are in the high risk of people that the criminals like the least. So therefore, wouldn't that person's risk life be at more risk the person were living at the garrison versus the people were live at Cherry Gardens or Narbrook? However, the FLA feels differently. The FLA feels as if because of the risk of where they live, they might lose that fire piece. So people, it seems as if the FLA is not thinking about them losing their life. Actually, they are thinking about them being disarmed. The toll get take away after them take away them life. And then the toll is in the hands of some sorts of criminal. So that is their priority. Not if this person loses his life is if the toll end up in the wrong hand. People, do you see how backwards, how foolish these people think and why Jamaica is in a bad predicament? However, when we look around and see a lot of these high-profile cases, these high-profile criminals, them have access to toll. Them have access to X amount of toll and X amount of shot, legally and illegally. So therefore, what type of battle are you going to be facing, you as a popo officer, when the odds are stacked against you? Thankfully to the criminals, thankfully to the FLA, the relevant authority that is supposed to be keeping Jamaicans and people that is on the front line safe. People, these people, nana ed, them nana sense. I mean, I am not talk about the criminals. I talk about the FLA and their board that make decisions. It is foolish, point blank, and period. Miss Kirkland, are you still saying the videotape was photoshopped? Yes, I am, ma'am. And you, I'm you innocent. saying it was doctored? Yeah, all five of them. Do you have anything to say to the family? I'm sorry for their loss. Now, the next thing that is popping in the news is an update about a story that I spoke about maybe a couple of weeks ago pertaining to government name T-A-R-C-I-A-L-Y-S-I-U-S -I -I more affectionately known as Tani in the dance hall space social media influencer them call it. She lost her life in a club Heart of Love in New York. Pretty much she was caught up in the head Pretty much there was some sort of verbal altercation turned physical. She went outside. She was trailed back in the club at about 5 a.m. in the morning. The lady blazed her up, take care of herself. Now when that incident occurred, there was a picture circulating all over social media. In this picture was a lady, this lady, 44-year-old Diane Kirkland. She is the person that was caught on video. 
she was the person that was on social media bragging days after making all sorts of posts. Now people, I told you about the pros and the cons of social media. These people, everything where them do, them put on social media. So therefore, they put their lives at risk. However, for the hype, for the spotlight, people will jeopardize their own life and safety just to show and prove to people that they don't actually like. Now people, when I spoke about this incident, I said that I had a couple of videos. In one of those videos, Tani was riding in at a club on a bicycle, taunting, showing herself. I said that Tani rode over the foot of somebody and that is or that was the motive. People, the truth and the fact is that it seems as if Miss Diane Kirkland she had premeditated the takeaway of Tani for a very long time. It is said that there was all sorts of verbal dispute on social media. They've been going back and forth at it. It was displayed for the whole wide world to see. However, that night at that club, that was when all H-E-L-L -L broke loose. That was when... Tani was confronted by Mrs. Kirkland, who run her down, chased her down in the club and pretty much pie pie her up a couple of hits in the head. She was out. She was called, taken to the place of recovery. However, too late was the call. Now, people, when you look at the fact that Tani lost her life, 41 year old, the suspect, 44 year old. You would have think that, listen, they may are big woman. These are not teenagers. However, people, whenever you have that Skatelina jeans, there is no expiration date in how you are going to conduct yourself just like you are, whatever is in your natural instinct to be some sort of Skatelina. So therefore, you don't know how to act any more different. You don't know how to act any more decent. So therefore, you do whatever comes naturally to you. So anyways, people, when we look at this and we realize this happened a couple of weeks ago, America is a very big place, 50 odd states. This lady could have still been hiding. This lady pretty much wants to cross state line she can't end up in any other place including canada she can't jump on a jet plane on a boat whatever and go to some other island somewhere however this just shows you when you have law enforcement that is serious about their job when you have people that are dead set to catch these k-i-l-l-e-r no matter what or where them go them could hang up on top of the highest mountain under the deepest sea, under some rock. These people will find you. That is why people are afraid. Not to say that people are not losing their life in America. However, based on how the place is set up with all sorts of cameras, based on how people are intended to do their civic duty and tell and talk with them, no, that is the difference in Jamaica. With the way that the Popo operate, they take their job seriously. Had this been in a Jamaica, more than likely, this lady could have been hiding over the next lane. This lady would have still been out there scotch-free. The neighbor them would have seen her and go on like nothing happened. So therefore, that is why Jamaica is in the dire strait that it is in. That is what makes the difference between a place that is intended for make sure say, them put them stamp pan crime versus Jamaica people. Once again, based on the information that I am getting, this lady, Diane Kirkland, she does not like Jamaica and she don't like Island or Caribbean people. So people are saying that this is some sort of H-A-T-E crime people. Me no know. There's also conflicting story claiming that Tani was with her man while this lady Diane was in the lockup for about 15 years or so. 
people. Me no know. Like me say, them just catch her. I am just giving you the news. As soon as I get any other pertinent information, I'll be sure to divulge ASAP. Now, people like me say, thanks once again for checking out my video. If you like news, straight to the point, straight to the topic, no beating around the bush, no sorts of gimmicks, show your appreciation by liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. That is how YouTube promotes the video to like-minded, sensible people like yourself. Point blank and period.